to the one that's there. Um,
something, we could use a three carbon organolithium reagent um, with this alkene that will allow us to attach that extra carbon.
just for fun on this problem set. Um, and if you do not find it any type of fun, then you are welcome to drive for others. Usually, the people who don't like the synthesis and don't find it fun be fun correctly fun. So that's why that's there. <laughs> um, any any other questions on this? Okay. Um, so last time we were we left off talking about some different types of organometallic coupling. Um, I am going to start lecturing on this side and give the over. No, I'm going to lecture on the chalkboard, and then when we switch halfway through, I'm going to see if I can get it up. And because um, it has been very unhelpful to me. Can everyone see the chalkboard relatively okay? It's okay. Um, so last time, uh, we talked about commodity coupling.
because it is so toxic. And both Suzuki and Stilly couplings um, are often used with AA plus BB type polymer or monomers.
end up difunctionalizing it. And then stoichiometry. And so this is one oh, really? case where stoichiometry works perfectly. Okay. Once you put in that one um, magnesium, this other one is so much slower to go. Okay. It basically makes it so much less reactive because this is um, a real, like that really strong minus yeah. there. And so having that like di minus charge is really unstabilizing. Yeah. So you actually even use 1.2 equivalents of this yeah. because it won't do it. Yeah. Or you can't use 1.2. Um, and so this is no isolation. And yeah, I could foresee, I actually couldn't tell you why something like this, why not?
which is essentially a short polymer that will fail to entangle. Touch pad every little 
difference between MW and MN to further characterize the distribution. And we call this the dispersity.
the concentration of monomer at time zero.
treat powder here, we have beads. Um, and these beads are special. When we zoom in, they have all of these little kind of nooks and crannies in them. Um, they're porous. We'll talk more about what porous beads mean in a second. Um, from here, once it will come out, hit a detector. Um, <coughs> this is usually UV bits, a uh, refractive index. Um, so you want something that absorbs, or refractive index is pretty darn tolerant. Most things have a refractive.
molecular weight of polystyrene somehow. We do that with light scattering. <coughs>
equation on the left side of the board, is that supposed to be 1 plus a? If it's 1 plus a on the right also. You know, I need to look that up. I'll write myself in new notes. Because my notes definitely indicate 1 plus a for those and a for that one. Um, probably a quick Google of what the uh, marking link equation would uh, solve the ambiguity. Um, if anyone can look at my, my past, that way we can know now. Since it's just A for the regular mark to equation. Later in the article, it still says one plus a one, like you have it. Oh, great. Okay, then at least I'm being consistent with this lovely inconsistency. Um, I can look into that that mystery for us. Um, for right now, though, uh, take a stretch, get up. Uh, we'll come back together in five minutes, um, and we'll be talking about. NRI.